The match function is one of the lookup or reference functions in Excel. The match function searches for a value in an array and returns the relative position of that item. This function can be used to either find the position of an exact match or the position of the closest match if an exact match is not found. You can also use wildcards with the match function. Let's take a quick look at how to use the match function in Excel. Here we have four columns of data. In our first example, let's use the match function to see if there is an exact match for order number 10574. To get started, let's begin by entering the match command. As you can see, the match function takes a number of parameters. The first parameter we will enter is the value that we want to search for in the array. In this tutorial, we will enter the order number 10574. The second parameter is the array, or range of cells, that contains the value that we are searching for. Here we will enter the range A2 to A6, which contains all of the order numbers. Finally, and most importantly, is a third parameter, which is the match type. This parameter determines whether we want to find an exact match or the closest match. Since we want to look for the first value that is equal to order number 10574, we will enter 0 as our match type parameter. Now let's see what our match function returns. You should see the value 5 appear in cell F2. This means that the match function found order number 10574 in the fifth position in the range A2 to A6. But what happens if a match is not found? Let's instead search for order number 10572. You should see the value not available error code appear in cell F2. This means that the match function did not find order number 10572 in the list of order numbers in the range A2 to A6. Next, let's modify our formula to find the largest order number that is less than or equal to 10572. For this example, the array must be sorted in ascending order, which means that for the range A2 to A6, the smallest order number must be found in cell A2, and the largest order number must be in cell A6. So we will start with the same formula as last time and enter 10572 as the first parameter, A2 to A6 as the second parameter, but this time we will enter 1 as the third parameter. This will find the largest value that is less than or equal to the value you are searching for, which is order number 10572. Now let's see what the match function returns this time. You should see the value 3 appear in cell F5. This is the position in the range A2 to A6, where we have found the largest value that is less than or equal to the order number 10572. So in this case, the order number 10571 was the match, which is a relative position of 3. Finally, let's modify our formula to find the smallest order number that is greater than or equal to 10572. This formula we will enter on sheet 2 because the array must be sorted in descending order. This means that for the range A2 to A6, the largest order number must be found in cell A2, and the smallest order number must be in cell A6. So we will start with the same formula as last time and enter 10572 as the first parameter, A2 to A6 as the second parameter, but this time we will enter minus 1 as the third parameter. This will find the smallest value that is greater than or equal to the value you are searching for, which is order number 10572. Now let's see what the match function returns. For this example, you should see the value 2 appear in cell F2. This is the position in the array A2 to A6, where the smallest value is greater than or equal to the order number 10572. So in this case, the order number 10573 was the match. This completes our example of how to use Excel's match function. If you would like to see more match examples, or would like to download the sample data we used for this tutorial, please visit our website at techonthenet.com. If you found our tutorial helpful, please leave a like on this video 
And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Excel tutorials.